Good evening. Okay, <clears throat> let's see how many are we here. Only you will follow. Okay, Wilfredo and Gilberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Moses. Ready? I am ready, teacher. Very nice. Good. Good. That is the attitude. <laughs> yes, I am in my house. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Yesterday, we were talking about the hotel services and amenities. And today, we are going to have like a, a review about the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. Just a review about the services and the amenities. We are going to match. You have this in your book, if you have your book, right? We are going to match here. This is just matching vocabulary and pictures. That is what we are going to do in this moment, right? Now from yesterday, uh, for example, which one do you think is the best option for number one? For picture number one, which of these ones do you think it is the best option? Shuttle service, business center, single room, fridge in the room, wake up cold, safe, Wi-Fi internet or laundry service? Number one. Wake, wake up cold. Okay, so we have here the wake up call. Good. What about for picture number two? Laundry service. Laundry the, service. Okay, the laundry service. Picture number three. Fridge in the room. Okay, fridge. Fridge in the room. That is for number three. Fridge in the room. For number four. Business. Business center. Business center. Good. And for number five. Laundry service. Laundry service. Is it laundry service? Because you no. said that oh, number no. two. Pensé que era, pensé que era una lavada. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Here it is supposed that we put a key, right? So this is? Safe. Okay. That is safe. Okay. 
Number six. Single room. Single room because we have only one bed. So that's why it is a single room. Number seven. Shuttle service. Aha, uh -huh, the shuttle service. In number eight. Wi-Fi internet. Okay. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi internet. Okay. So now you can see the different drawings. Well, they, they match now with this. Okay. And um, this is like the review from vocabulary, only from vocabulary from yesterday. But we are going to reinforce also with uh, uh, the grammar structure that we studied yesterday. For example, what we are going to do and what we are going to study is what we studied yesterday. From yesterday class, we had the be going to structure that is related to the future. Plants and hotels reservations, right? This is what we pretend to have to achieve at the end of this class. And then I have a question for you before studying. Do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotels when you travel? What do you prefer, modern or antique? I am antique teacher. Okay. So you prefer better, better uh, old times, right? The antique. In some way, I think it is better, right? And the second question. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? Or maybe the secretary from your job, if it is something related to your job, of course. Have you ever done at least one reservation in the hotel? I usually do. Okay, you are the one in church of doing it. No lo hace alguien más, but you. Okay. We are going to have a lot of exercises because we are going to emphasize in the future tense. Remember, later I am going to uh, uh, analyze this because I want you to go directly with this. You remember that we were working with the be going to, right? And this is the grammar structure that we were studying yesterday. We have subject. Aquí se tradujo. I don't know what happened here. Subject. Okay. Subject. Todo se tradujo. Verb and complement. We have here all the pronouns. Auxiliary. Auxiliary, verb, and complement. They are going to. She is going to. We are going to. I am going to. 
if we just follow the structure, I think that we do not have problems. Pero para verificar que todos comprendieron ayer, todos me escriben una oración in the chat box con esta estructura, please. Porque no puedo avanzar si no tenemos um, this structure understood. Let us do it. Okay, I'm going to run after class. I'm going to travel next year. Only Osvaldo and Jennifer, okay, now Jose. I am going to work tomorrow. I am going to buy a new pair of shoes. My boss is going to review my video. I'm going to the Morasan. I'm going to go to Morasan. Y, y teacher, ahí se le puede agregar Morasan tomorrow. I'm going to go to Morasan tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Okay. Así yes. es. <laughs> okay. Solo le quitamos el de Morasan, right? Solo going to go to Morazan. She is going to sell her car. Okay. And now I have a question. All the sentences are perfect, are okay. Now, oops. Now I've got a question. How can you make the difference between using will for future with be going to? Porque todos conocen el uso de will. Because we study will in the school, in high school. You study that, but what is the difference between using will and be going to? No me lo digan todavía, Osvaldo. Thank you. Thank you. Because you are going to discuss that with your classmates. Después que lo discutan, you're coming back and then you give me your answers, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Let us do it. Hoy no voy a separar oyentes ni nada. Ahí se van a ir. Okay. It takes too much time.
Entonces, eh, ese sería como, como un ejemplo. En cambio, el going to es como esa acción que ya tenés segura de que sí lo vas a hacer, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, que de pronto te has proyectado que ya el otro año querés... Eh, Ajá, y por el uso del verbo to be, que, que con will no se ocupa, o sea, porque solo va el sujeto, más will, más el verbo, y lo demás va el uh -huh. ah. Y ahí lo que decía Addison también, o sea, sí, así como dijo él, pero es prácticamente lo que había puesto en el chat. Ajá. Oh, Excelente. Bueno. Piche tiene apagado el micrófono. No escuchó. Teacher tiene apagado Teacher el micrófono. Teacher tiene apagado el micrófono. Y el lenguaje de señas todavía no lo domina. <risa> es que lo tenía doblemente apagado. Uno es aquí. Se le volvió a apagar. Es por eso, porque subí el doble. Tengo doblemente aquí sellado. Ok, good. Thank you. I was telling you, what was the result? What was the discussion about? What could you understand about the differences between future using will and future using be going to? With auxiliary will? We don't use the verb to be. Yes, yes. And we don't going use the verb to be. When we're going to, yes. In in the probability, is is other difference. For example. Um, I for example, I will go to visit my mom. And I am going to visit my mom tomorrow. Maybe. And what como is the possibility? Más, como que es más seguro, tal vez, going to, que well. No sé. Digo yo. Ah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Me recuerdo también. OK. <laughs> OK, any other opinion? Supporting or not supporting Osvaldo's opinion? 
Yes, um, I think um, we are talking that when you use a uh, will, um, you refer to the probably, probably or wish. Um, for example, I will buy a house. And the difference when we when we use um, going to is um 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 una seguridad es más seguro when for example I'm going to buy a house the next year or bah, esa es como la diferencia que que lo voy a decir en español okay okay que will eh, es como una proyección a lo que yo anhelo querer o hacer, pero no está seguro y es más prolongado el tiempo para realizarlo. No es un futuro inmediato, sino que es a largo plazo. En cambio, el going to es un futuro más cercano y está seguro que realmente sí lo vas a realizar. O sea, que es una probabilidad de un 90% que sí va, vas a hacer esa acción a futuro. Es lo que hablábamos con el grupo. Ok, thank you, Jennifer. Any other opinion? I know that, that Rose want to say something. Right, Rose? No. Fallé. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to tell you about this. Will versus going to. When we use will, it says that we have different options in context that we can use it. It is not just for one purpose. For example, I can use it for rapid decision, a quick decision. Also, when I want to offer something or a promise or a threat or a refusal. I have one, two, three, four, five different options, different um, ways that I'm going to use will. We have examples here. If I want to say rapid decision, I'm going to use will. For example, hey, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. In this moment, I'm thirsty. Since I feel that I need water or any other liquid because I am thirsty, I have made my decision and I will buy a drink. I will buy something to drink because in this moment I am thirsty. So this was a rapid decision. In the moment. Offer. A. That looks heavy. I will help you with it. You are offering your help. I will help you. Or when you make a promise. 
Don't worry. I won't. This is in negative. <clears throat> I won't tell anyone. Will in negative. A threat. A threat is this. <clears throat> A condition. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> A threat, it is a condition. If you don't stop, I will tell your mother. That is a threat. That is a condition. Right? That is a threat. If you don't study, You won't have vacations. That is a threat. A refusal. She won't listen to anything I say. Negative. She will not. One, two, three, four, five different contexts. Different context. And then the, we have like more options for using will than using going to. For going to, it says prior plan. The prior plan is that the decision was made before the moment that when we are speaking. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. But you have already talked about this and the decision was made in the past. Also, when there are some evidence or signs that something is going to happen for sure. For example, these examples is a little bit disgusting, but, but anyways, it says, my stomach hurts a lot. I think I'm going to throw up. What is the sign? What is the evidence for you to think that you are going to throw up? Because you got a stomach ache. That is the sign. Right? Or also another sign for you to throw up is when you have a headache, right? And then you want to throw up. This is like the evidence. Another example. We are in a game, for example, a basketball game. And then you say, hey, what is the score? It is 70 and zero. What is the evidence? The score. And then you're going to say, they're going to win. They're going to win. And this assumption is has been made because of this. So here, evidence, and here, when you have already made a decision. 
¿Se fijan que no es tan fácil? Solo using will and be going to. No, we have different contexts. Different. I am going to emphasize on this one. Rapid decision and we are going to compare it with this. Only the first one, rapid decision. The rest, they are like easier to manage. For example. This is a comparison now. This is crazy. It says, friends are having an online meeting and one of them asks them to prepare a party. Esto es como que estuviéramos nosotros in this moment. And then we are going to say, hey, let's prepare a celebration. Because we are going to finish our classes next Tuesday. Let's prepare a celebration. And then everyone is getting involved in this. And then you are going to say, for example, um, Karen is going to say, okay, I will prepare some food. Kerin. Then another one is going to say, for example, um, que son tan pocas opciones. Valerie. Valerie dice, I won't go to the English class. I will bring some soda. Ella se anota con la soda because she's not going to go to the English class. Another English class, right? And then another question, it says, hey, will you work? And another answers, where will you buy the soda? We are making decisions in the right moment. ¿Quién decidió que iba a preparar la comida y en qué momento? In that moment, Karen. But we are making decisions about something that someone said. We want to prepare a party. We want to prepare a celebration. We want to prepare um, a lunch, breakfast or dinner, whatever, an event. But all of you have made your decision. Maybe some of you are preparing sandwiches. Some of you are, are buying the soda. Maybe you're going to go to the supermarket, but you are making your decision in this right moment. Pero todo esto lo estamos haciendo aquí en línea, online, todos los que estamos presentes. Y sucede que uno de ustedes Digamos, voy a decir un nombre de una estudiante que se llama Margarita. Margarita no asistió a la clase de ahora. She is not here. Not even connected. Margarita no asistió. Entonces, ponemos el siguiente contexto. Aquí tiene otro nombre, pero ya lo vamos a acoplar. Sucedió que cualquiera de los que está presente en this moment, Elsie, Jennifer, Osvaldo, 
Wells, Valerie. Uno de ustedes viene y se encontró a la persona que faltó, Margarita. Y entonces se encuentra Margarita y cualquiera de ustedes, ocupen el nombre, aquí es, este, ya le vamos a poner a cada uno. Entonces, uno de ustedes se encontró a Margarita y le dice, hey, Margarita, we are going to have a party. Oscar, en ese caso era Kevin, right? Is going to prepare some food. Valerie is not going to go to the English class and she is going to buy some soda. Osvaldo is going to work that day. And I am going to go with uh, Valerie to buy the soda. ¿Por qué en la lámina anterior todo decía will y por qué aquí todo dice is going to, is not going to, I am going to? Why? Because in the first lámina, slide, slide, eh, the, the person are present eh, ellos armaron su plan ahí en cambio en este el plan ya está armado entonces es lo que van a hacer that's it thank you Ed. in the first one you were making decisions yo voy a hacer esto, yo voy a hacer lo otro. I will do this, I will. ¿En qué momento se tomó la decisión? En that moment. Pero aquí ya dejó de ser will. And that is why I am using be going to. Porque Oscar ya se comprometió a hacer algo. Entonces, Uh, I can say now, Oscar is going to prepare some food. Porque ya está planeado. Shayla is going to go to the English class. Is not going to go to the English class. And she's going to buy some soda. Dan is going to work that day. And I'm going to go with Shayla. That is the difference when we use, if we are talking about rapid decisions, quick decisions versus be going to. Be going to is when you have already planned your activities. And the second option for using be going to versus will it is when you have the evidences for example if I say I'm going to travel to Panama. I have already made my decision in the past. Y la evidencia that I have from that decision is, ya tengo el boleto. I have Maybe I'm going to travel by plane or by bus. I don't know. But I have already bought the tickets. Those are the signs. I have made my decisions and I have the signs. 
the tickets. If I'm telling you, si vamos con probabilidades, que es lo que normalmente nos dice Will, there is a possibility, maybe que yo haga algo y no es tan strong como este que ya tengo evidencias. When I use this, for example, if I say, vean the difference. If I say, I think or probably I'll go to, um, what is the name of this guy? I'll go to the concert of Mark Anthony. If I can get the money, there is a possibility. Right? But it is different if I am telling you, I am going to Mark Anthony's concert. ¿Cómo lo comprenderían ustedes? Que ya compró el boleto, que ya, está, ya tomó la decisión. Ya tiene un plan ya. Ya sé con quién voy a ir, ya sé a dónde me voy a sentar. Pero el will, voy a esperar. Tal vez tengo el dinero. Pero ¿y si no lo tengo? I won't go. So there is a possibility that I am going to go. Que ese es lo más común que nosotros usemos el will. In contrast with a be going to. Ok. So, with be going to, tenemos ya the evidence. Y con will, there is a possibility or rapid decision. O cualquiera de las otras. When it is an offer, a promise, and so on. Do you understand this? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Good. Let us go back. This conversation, it is very similar to the one that we practiced yesterday. There are some just, some little more information that we have to add. But I'm going to go first before, before practicing the pronunciation, I want you to pay attention in this. Oops. No, no, pretty edge. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday. How long are you going to stay? Remember from yesterday. I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Now we have more options. All this conversation is based in something that you have already made a decision to travel, to go to a different place. And now you have to make your reservation because this is what you have already planned, right? See that here we are going to use questions. We are like this. And also we are going to use statements, more questions. 
Be careful and pay attention to this because later we are going to use them. But before, let us go and practice a little bit more with these exercises. I have here the affirmative statement. Como lo hago negativo? Una sentence with be going to. How do I do that? Estas las corregí y se volvieron a hacer así. These are not capital letter. Tienen que ser. Okay. You correct it. You're not going to write it down capital letter. Then I say, they are not going to see a movie. She is not going to buy a new house. We are not going to travel to Canada. I am not going to go to the beach. The negative statements are going to be just by adding the word not. This is what we're going to do. And then we keep the same structure. We have the verb and we have the complement. Affirmative and negative. And what about with the equations? For the equations I have here, yes, no equations. Yes, no equations. For yes, no equations, the verb to be is the first one. Are they, are you, is she, am I? And question mark in the end. Yes, no question. We have the two options for answers. I can say, are they going to see a movie? Yes, they're going to see a movie. Or yes, they are. Or no, they are not going to see a movie. Or no, they aren't. Possible answers. And finally, I have the WH questions. Si escribo un what is because it is something general. If I ask where, it is because I need to uh, know the place. If I ask when, it is because I need to uh, uh, time. And when I say why, it is because I need to uh, a reason. I need to understand the reason. Equations, WH equations, yes, no equations, affirmative statement, negative statement. The four structures that every tense has. I cannot take it. Better. Now, We are going to write down our own conversation. Y ahora sí, you have to use more creativity with your conversations. Ahora me hacen muchos, muchos más cambios, right? E incluso, quiero que me incluyan el usage of will in one of them. Para que veamos el contrast. Yes. Do you understand? And I've got this camera off. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. 
Pero vamos a ir de pasito a pasito. Antes que ustedes hagan la conversación, van a escribir. Two affirmative statements. Two negative statements. Two yes no questions con sus preguntas. And two WH uh, con sus respuestas, I'm sorry. And two WH questions con sus respectivas respuestas también. After having those structures, you are going to work in your own conversation. Do you understand? You said two affirmative, two negative, two WH question, and? Two yes, no questions. Okay, teacher. Okay? Good. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Sí, hoy sí nos mantenemos porque tuve que mover a los oyentes anyway. Okay. Jessica, ¿la puedo incorporar en algún en alguna sala? Yes, teacher. Ok, ok, good. Mateo, ¿lo puedo incluir en alguna sala? Mateo. ¿No? Ok. Entonces, Osvaldo, que puede hacer la negativa. Voy a hacer las negativas con going to, ¿verdad? Ajá. Así es. Yo voy a hacer la okay. entonces de, de W question con la respuesta. Yo, la hago, yo hago las negativas con el going to. Ah, no, tú vas a hacer las negativas, yo hago las afirmativas. Ajá, voy con las y negativas. Faltaría la de yes. Las no W question, question las hace Dilson. ¿Te parece? Yo ya, ya tengo las dos eh, afirmativas. Epa.
ver, are not, are not they going to, going to, ¿qué? School, escuela, le falta el verbo. Entonces sería, are not they going to go ah, sí, to okay. the school? Ajá, y el signo de interrogación, porque es pregunta. Ahora, la segunda que es, we are not going to mountain. Y igual, ah, nos falta el verbo ahí, el porque go, entonces, go. ajá, ¿a dónde no van? Okay. Y si es pregunta, de nuevo, la estructura gramatical, are not, we going to go, we, ajá, ajá, to go, en todo caso, si es go, de ir o, o visitar, para cambiar el verbo. Ok, lo voy a cambiar. Así, to go mountain. Y lo, y lo, lo vemos, ¿eh? Ajá, porque entonces si es pregunta sería, Así. a ver, they are, no, we are not going to go mountain. Pero es que, vaya, si es pregunta, acuérdense que, o sea, siempre va inicialmente eh, la auxiliar. En este caso, we no, y they no son auxiliares, sino que son los sujetos. Entonces, gramaticalmente pasa a ser eh, are en estos dos casos. Si es. fuera, ajá, si fuera él o ella, sería is. Is, vaya, por ejemplo, si es ella, ajá. is, is not. Ajá.
Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Solo son las convert solo son las oraciones o también la conversación. Las dos cosas. Ah. La conversación ah. no está bien. No, ah. vamos a hacer la conversación. <risa> Ahorita vamos a eso. Okay, I'm Ahorita going to... vamos a hacer la conversación. Okay, I'm going to check the other team, okay? Okay, keep okay, working. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not going to see you tomorrow. Sí, está bien. Uh, aunque todos estamos haciendo negativas. No, no, yo envié una. Y no, yo hice, yo hice dos afirmativas. Ah, ok, pero de yo Jessica hay la... una. Ajá. Because have you already prepared your conversation or not yet? Uh, one minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, y ahora Elsa, Elsa.
Okay, guys, you you have only one more minute and then we come back. Even if you haven't finished the conversation, okay, we are going to work it in here in the general room. Teacher, attend. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, the attendance, my God. Okay, guys, be ready for the first time, right? One hour later, no, half an hour. Okay, we have here Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara, Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías, Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña, present, Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández, present. No camera, Eric. Yes, teacher. Okay. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Good. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present. Jessica Araceli Diaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Listen. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Karen Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. No le veo. On time, Karen. Okay, okay, good. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. 
Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present, teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. And Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Ok. Pero no le vi, Wilmer. Present, teacher. La frente le veo. Te guarde. <laughs> Dios guarde, muchachos. <laughs> ok. Ok, guys. Write down in the chat box one negative statement. In the chat box. One negative statement. I'm not going to drink water tomorrow. ¿Y por qué ha tomado esa decisión? Oh, my God. Solo de rebelde. She's not going to go to the meeting tomorrow. Are not they going to go? Um, Moses, la negación la hemos puesto. La no. hemos puesto... Eh, en, eh, le hemos dado estructura de pregunta. Ah, ok. No era el momento de la pregunta. No, porque eh, me ha combinado la negación. No es que no podamos ponerle negación a la pregunta, pero este sí ha combinado. Tendría que ser okay. They are not going to go to school. They are not they're going to. Ok, lo voy a cambiar. Ok. I'm not going to work tomorrow, no les digo pues, solo de rebeldes. ¿Y cómo va a ser, muchachita? Only healthily. People in this room. You see, I'm not going to work tomorrow. ¿Cómo le va a hacer? Oh my God. Okay, no more. Okay, now, please. One WH equation. WH equation. They are not going to go to school. Another one. <laughs> Rebeldos. <laughs> what Sorry. is Jennifer going to make tomorrow? Okay, Rosie. Si es en cuanto a... Actividades general, vamos a manejar el verbo do. What okay. is Jennifer okay. going to do tomorrow? Right? Okay, ya lo cambio. Okay, good. Because make uh, refers mainly when we are creating something like, um, for example, um, if you are preparing dinner, if you are preparing coffee so we say make right but okay. if it is a general ideas activities it is do okay ya, ya lo cambié. okay thank you okay tomorrow jennifer is going to visit the doctor haha -ha, jennifer <laughs> i'm not going to see you tomorrow <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to play the next year Okay, where is Jennifer going to go home at night? 
Jennifer is becoming very famous. <laughs> Where is Jennifer? Yes. <laughs> yes. Where is Jennifer going to go home at night? Quiero ver. Where is Jennifer going to go at night? Ok, vamos a ver ahí ese ejemplo, José Adilson. Porque si está preguntando where, no puede dar la opción ya que va a ir a la casa, home. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Damos la opción solo en las 10 no questions, yes. pero en las WH questions queda abierta. Tendría que ser, where is Jennifer going to go at night? Where are we going to study this weekend? Mm -hmm. Who is he going to work next week? Who is he going to work with the next week? Okay. He's going to work with co-workers. Ahí en la respuesta sí colocó el with. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, where is Jennifer going to go at night? Okay, that's it. And now the yes no question. Okay, are they going to play soccer? Are they going to play soccer? It is two times. La misma, remember. Ah, oh, well, but you were working together. That's what I can understand. Are you going to travel this week? Mm -hmm. Is Marta going to run tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, come on now. Yeah. Okay, guys. So in this moment, we are going to take two different tests. Vamos a ver si vamos a pasar este test. Can you click on the link that I have already posted? Y díganme si pueden ingresar. Yes. Yes? Okay. When you finish, screenshot and you post it in the chat.
Char, lo mandé al grupo porque no me deja aquí, no me carga. Really? Ahí mandé la captura. Sí que tengo como muchos archivos y no me los carga. No me cargaba la captura. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. Okay, okay, thank you. I have seen it. Because you got um, the 88%. Good. Yes. ¿No les está cargando, chicos, aquí en el chat? En mi caso, eh, mi compu, como tiene el teclado eh, desconfigurado, ahorita okay, no me deja okay. tomar captura, entonces okay. le tomé foto y lo mandé al grupo. Ok, que. Okay, you can check also the, the answers, right? For you to be sure about what would be the, the correct answer. And what about the others only? only... Jennifer en Osvaldo. ¿Será que ya se me quedaron dormidos los demás? Are you sleepy? Yes. Ah, pues sí están dormidos. <laughs> Ya le escuché la voz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you have to have the result, right? Okay, we are going to, I'm going to continue with the um, presentation because I want you to work in the following exercise. Let me see, where are they? Before, before doing some uh, the last exercises, I want you to uh, just to talk about this last part of the be going to, because uh, sometimes, uh, even I ha I already explained this. We um tend to be a little bit confused. Whenever we are, and again, this, give me a second, I'm going to check this. Give me a second. mencionaba que estos auxiliares no se pueden traducir. No, 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 no se deben, no se deben. 
Ah, ok. Es que como yo solo me había visto ¿verdad? que going to es como voy a ir, como con más afirmación, y el otro es como haré. Pero no, ¿verdad? Se puede crear más confusión así. Sí, sí. Los dos dicen haré. Right? Ah, ok. Yo haré. Future. It is future. El contexto es el que le va a decir which is the correct one. Right? No, I cannot correct this. In, not in this moment, but I'm, I'm going to share it. Sigue llegando ahí las captures. Okay, what I want to tell you is... Um, be careful whenever we are going to use this. Subject complement subject. Okay. See the difference between the progressive tense and the be going to. Check and be careful because it is not the same writing they are going to see a movie than they are going or they are seeing a movie they are different this takes all this the verb to be and the going to as auxiliary. But if I am using the progressive, because this is progressive, if I am using the progressive one, the auxiliary is to be and the verb has to be in ing. Right? Yes. Ok. Escríbanme en el chat una oración, dos oraciones. Una de esta estructura y la otra de estructura. Pero el verbo a utilizar va a ser el verbo go. Ok. Write it down, please. The verb is go. Y escriben the be going to sentence plus ing sentence. Progressive tense.
Ok, empieza a leer. Elsie. I am going to go to work. I am going to work. El verbo a trabajar es el verbo go. Hay una confusión ahí, Elsie. Vamos con Osvaldo. I am going to go to the gym tomorrow. I am going to the gym. Ok, muy bien. Humberto. We are going to go to the party. We are going to the party. Very good. Wilfredo. Aunque Wilfredo solo escribió una. They are going to eat breakfast. No ha utilizado el verbo go. Jessica, she's going to go to school. She's going to school. Good. Jose Dilson, I am going to go tomorrow to the party. Tomorrow va a ir al final. I am going to go to the party tomorrow. I am going to work tomorrow. La segunda, hay problemas. Rose. I am going to go early tomorrow. They are going to the university. Good. Jennifer, I am going to go to the new mall this week. I am going to a restaurant. Good. Valerie, they are going to go to the class. They are walking in the park. Tenemos issues ahí en la segunda. ¿Ya ven que sí hay confusión? Hay confusión with the verb, with the progressive. Ok. Me voy a mover de aquí y vamos a ir a abrir una, una whiteboard. better okay most of you did a good job most of you did a good job but for those who got some troubles i'm gonna try to explain a little bit um, more but in here. For example, when I say use the verb go, ya era una trampa. ¿Por qué? Because most of you have problems with the verb go. Why? I have here and then I'm going to say she is going to. Con la estructura que hemos estado estudiando, todo esto es auxiliar, ¿cierto? Be going to. And yes. after the auxiliary, ¿qué viene? Verbo. The verb. Entonces digo, she is going to go. Y luego pongo el complemento. She is going to go to the park. She is going to go to the park. Y para que vean la diferencia con el progresivo, la segunda oración tiene que ser progresivo. ¿Cuál es la regla para un progresivo? The verb change. She, el auxiliar que en este caso solamente va a ser is. But, uh -huh. No going to. Is. Y después de is comes the verb. In ing. Yes. To the park. the park. 
¿Logran ver la diferencia? Yes. Si no la logran ver, ya se las hice más grande, ¿ok? <laughs> But, lo que quiero que comprendamos es esto. Este going no es lo mismo que este going. Ahí es donde se confunden la mayoría. Esta es la estructura be going to que es para futuro. Future. Y este es progressive. Present progressive. Elsie. Elsie. ¿Está dormida? Elsie, are you there? El micrófono estaba apagado. Ok, ok. Es que creo que... que... Es que yo quería poner al trabajo, work. Pero no. Me lo tomé. Um, She's okay. going to go to work. Al trabajo, no trabajar. Ok, entonces aquí eh. usted le quiso poner work. Ajá. Sí. ¿A dónde? She's going Pero... to the work. Eh, ¿Están viendo es que... la pizarra? Sí. Sí. Ok. Yes. Quizá lo voy a escribir con otro color, con rojo. Aquí, ¿ve? To work. She is going to work. Yo no veo a teacher. ¿Y los demás si ven? ¿O solo yo estoy viendo la pizarra? Yes. yes I see the board. I see. Ok. Yo veo see. lo que está escrito en negro. Pero no veo que esté escribiendo ahorita. Porque sí estoy escribiendo en rojito. Uh. Yes, no solamente modificó el park por work. Ajá. Aquí ve. Yes. Work in red. Correcto. Uh -huh. Correcto. Aquí ve. En lugar Creo de que decir... Creo que se congeló. Ok, that is what happens, ok? So... Lo que tiene que quedar claro en este momento para todos los que les dije que había algo que corregir es que tienen que comprender que esto es un auxiliar y esto no tiene traducción. Pero en el progresivo, esto es el verbo. No es auxiliar. Por lo tanto, ahí... Se está diciendo que él está yendo al parque, <coughs> al trabajo, o whatever. Right? Ok. That is the big difference. Ok. Aquí es auxiliary, and here it is the verb. Good? Yes. Good, okay. And finally, we have the exercises that we have from the book. Y con esos vamos a terminar. We have these exercises that you have in your book. It says, aquí están. Easy because it says order the words to create sentences and questions about scheduled activities. It means that we need just to organize them. That is the only thing that we are going to do. Pero eso sí, no agregamos ni quitamos nada. Right? For example, I said I used when. When I cross it out, 
R is here. You is here. Going to is here. Arrive is here. To Dallas is here. You see, you didn't, you don't have to add nor dropping anything. Now let us complete number two. ¿Qué será? Una pregunta, será una oración, será negativa. Okay, let us try. Let us try to organize it. Mike, are you going to a reservation for the conference room? Can you repeat it, please? Uh, <laughs> Mike, are you going to a reservation for the conference room? Si Maybe. comenzó con make, ya estamos mal. Malo, no lleva make. No puede, no puede ¿Cómo no? Es decir, make. la lleva, pero you cannot start with make, ¿ok? Next. If it is a sentence, ¿con qué comienza you, una oración? You, you I are are going with to. they, he, she, it. If it is a question, you, you're you. going to start with are. Uh, or you are going to. Okay. You are going to. Okay, let's you, see. You, you are going. El número. Okay, you. You are. are going, make, to, going to. Going to make. Going to. Make. Make. A reservation for the conference room. A reservation. For. For. The comfort, the conference room. The conference room. Ahora sí. Yes. Ok. Ahora sí. Este lápiz está muy grueso. I'm going to change it. Ok. Now let's see. Number three. I am going to wake up. Ok. Request. Ok. I'm, I'm going to request. I'm going. I'm going to, to request. Request for 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 a five, five, wake up call. A five, wake up for call. wake up call five a.m. 5 a.m. Okay. Number four. Mr. Turcio is going to check. Is Mr. Turcio is, is going to check out tomorrow? It is a question or a sentence? It's a sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, one, Mr. Turcio. Mr. Miss mm -hmm. Turcius. Miss Turcius is is going, going to, to check out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, number five. The maintenance team. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. Number two is going is, to is going to is going to attend is going to attend on on attend conference a on conference a conference on, on October. October. Okay, on October the 10th. 10th. And the last one. Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz. Who is, is Mr. Diaz? Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz. Ms. Diaz. Ms. Diaz. Ms. 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 Diaz. Ms. Diaz. Ms. Diaz. Is going to, is is going to need a non-smoking. Need 
No, smoking room. Smoking room. Smoking room. Very good. You got a 10, right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, guys. And now just let me check for the attendance. Okay, guys, are you working in the exercises from the platform? Yes. Okay, guys, estamos a uh, four days to finish this. Three days. Just tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. And we finish. So, please, if you haven't done those exercises, you better do it. Right? Okay. okay. Please. Please. Okay? Do not forget to do it. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to check the attendance for the second and last time. Vamos de abajo hacia arriba. Okay? Vamos. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Okay. Wilfredo Renderos León. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present, teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Ay, señor. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Ok. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, teacher. Kenia Elizabeth. No, Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, sí. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías y Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Okay, guys. So that's all for this class. Thank you very much for being here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.